Well, I think I've nailed the whole kind of pitch darkness. Um, <laughs> it's proper dark in this van. Let me turn my light on. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's really bright. Right, so don't ask me why. I have no particular reason why I'm doing this just for laughs. Um, I'm going to camp up in a shopping centre car park. So let's just give that a go. I've got the curtain up. Uh, I've turned the cab light off. Uh, so then that don't come on when I open the door. Everything's packed. Um, all the food stuff's packed. I packed that ages ago. Uh, what I plan to do this time, because I'm going away quite often uh, in January, is uh, I put loads of dry foods and canned foods in the in the van. Even if I want to go on like a last minute trip, I've still got food in the van and stuff. I do plan it and there's some fresh stuff in the fridge. Uh, the beauty about it being winter is that I don't have to have the fridge on. It still stays at a really nice temperature, which is ace. And Branston's not coming today um because i mean he'd just be sat in the van with me and it wouldn't be that interesting for it right i think we're ready for the off um what i've done is i've opened these curtains um so i can get the heater on in here full blast so then what it'll do is it'll send as much heat to the back as possible while i'm driving and then at least it's going to be mildly warm in the back hour and 10 minutes to where i'm going uh, it's a pretty busy car park hopefully it's busy uh, so i kind of disappear into the background but i'm also going to check the car park rules just in case there's a big sign somewhere to say anything you know if it says no overnight camping or you know specifically don't stay any longer than you should then i'll have to revert to plan b um and plan b is still uh, overnight wild in uh, wild camping wild camping you know what i'm saying um and yeah so whatever happens tonight i am sleeping in the van somewhere i'm not supposed to <laughs> Right, so I've arrived in my spot and uh, it's not that scenic. <laughs> uh, I'll just give you a view of the things I'm looking at. Yep, cars, more cars, more cars, more cars, more cars. Lovely. Now, this is a 24 hour car park and you're permitted to park here 24 hours, providing you're using the facilities. Now, um, I'm gonna go get something from the Oasis uh, facilities. Uh, those who know where I am, brilliant. Um, I don't think I should tell you where I am, should I? I don't know, should I? Right, I'm at Meadowall Car Park. Um, I'm gonna use the facilities um, and I'm gonna go in now, go get something to eat, just a little snack, because I'm gonna make some dinner in the van. Um, but then at least I'm gonna have a bit of a wander around Oasis, maybe a bit of a gander in the uh, the old Meadow Hallis and, uh, and I'll take you with me. So uh, yeah, let's do that. Right, so we're all locked up and we're gonna go into the uh, Oasis uh, Orange Zone car park floor. There we are. Parking controls apply, nice. Right, okay, let's have a look. I've also got all my expensive stuff with me in my rucksack. Uh, so I don't know what it's like around here. Could be well dodged. <laughs> of it. 
like let's try a vegan burger see what they're like from KFC and then go back to the van and still have some food because why not but a bit of a wander around it's quite nice uh, and I'm quite fully aware that I'm talking to myself now and there's a lot of people staring at me in the uh, food court <laughs> right so I've put into the economy so technically I've paid for my space um, thought I'd try that vegan burger it's actually all right um, he might have been chicken <laughs> No idea, I've no idea. It, it was alright, I suppose. It's a quick sort of late afternoon snack. Uh, I'll have dinner in a few hours. Uh, there's quite a lot of security about, like floating around and stuff, so I'll just have to keep an eye out for those guys. Um, it all depends on what happens later on when everybody goes. Because if I'm like the only camper van in the whole, or, I mean, I stick out like a sore thumb from here. Uh, and there's a guy with a yellow jacket on looking at me. I don't know. Might have to move it, but technically I'm not doing anything wrong. Uh, I don't think. <laughs> I don't know why I'm sat on floor. It makes me feel more stealthy, I suppose. <laughs> so I've got my uh, little lamp on the go. Check that out. It's just a house lamp. Um, just plugged into the uh, Borden's generator, which is Ace. I've got a video on that on my uh, channel somewhere if you want to go check that out. Um, I can have more lights on, I think, while it's still light outside because I don't think anyone will know. But as soon as it gets dark, um, I think it'll be uh, lights off time. Uh, but yeah, so for dinner, I am having uh, pasta and a pasta sauce, a stirring sauce. Gonna have this. Nice. Uh, sun dried tomatoes and pasta. And then I've got some like chicken bits and stuff like that that I'm gonna shove in as well and uh, give those a stir around. Uh, I'll do them in a pan, I reckon, uh, rather than the Ridge Monkey. I think the Ridge, Mon Ridge Monkey's a bit small. So yeah, before I started recording, security guy came right up to the van. And uh, and he was looking at it, but I don't know whether he was just like looking at it because it's a nice van, because he might have a dub, or whether he were like, mm, this guy's probably camping tonight. Uh, I don't know whether I'm too close to the um, building itself, whether I should go out in the middle of the car park. I don't know, I really don't know. Um, but if I go out in the middle of the car park, I don't feel safe. Does that make sense? I feel safer like in the midst of it all, uh, but then I'll stick out like a sore thumb if I'm here all night, so. I don't know, only time will tell, won't it? But for now, I think it's like chill time, station nation, and and then I'll, uh, I'll walk you around the outside of the van to see whether we can see any in any light leaking or anything like that it definitely leaks out of the side of that window with that light on so with this light on here you can definitely see that on but i'll switch that off and just have this light on and then i reckon that's low enough light sorry if you can't see me that's low enough light for it to be stealth um but enough light for it to be cozy and lovely it's not cold in here i had the heater on all the way over uh, it's super warm I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that because I've got this curtain up here, again, you won't be able to see that. Let me just turn that on. You might be able to see it. So because I've got this curtain up here, it's a full blackout curtain. Um, what might happen is that the condensation won't build up on that window. Fingers crossed. Yeah, it's getting dark outside. In fact, it's almost dark, dark. Now, there is condensation on this window. However, because it's a... Uh, uh, tinted window you can't see the condensation let me just have a check on the front windows yeah nothing nothing at all that could be a winner you know there's literally no condensation on the front door oh look it's taking me air now because i shoved my head through there <laughs> i'll show you there's literally no condensation at all look at that yes now whether that remains remains to be seen uh, but we'll give it a go. Right, my battery's going flat on this, so I need to swap it over. Uh, I'll see you when I'm making dinner. Okay, see you, bye. So, but I've got condensation on the front windows. <laughs> uh, I think it's because I'm cooking. Uh, I think that's a big telltale for people outside that there's somebody in here. Loads of people leaving now. Oh, I'm, I'm literally gonna look like a standout van all by myself. <laughs>
with it being a Monday night. If it were a Saturday night, it'd probably be busier, uh, but it's not. A um, few people keep walking past and uh, like looking at the van and stuff, and I don't know whether they're just looking at it because I like it or whether they're like, I think there's someone in there because condensation windows, or there's someone doing some noughties in there because condensation windows. <laughs> Let's have some dinner. Ooh, boiling over. Lovely, lovely. Then, what time are we on? It's only half past six. So what I might do, I've got 5G, so I might put prime film on or something like that. What I might do, actually, is get a super early night, like nine o'clock-ish. Because if I do, I'll get asked to move on at three, then I'll have had like all of nine, 10, 11, 12, one, two. I'll have had at least six hours sleep if I get told to move on at three which is when this place, when the cinema shuts and everything like that. Right, so I'll probably aim to do that. Don't know. I could just crack on, you know what I'm saying? Right, so dinner's done. It's seven o'clock. And I think what I'm going to do is going to set up the bed so it's ready to go. Um, going to get the kettle out so then I don't have to get out in the morning so I can make a cup of coffee, providing I get that far. <laughs> um, I might get asked to move before then. Um, and then once the bed's set up, I get all cosy and comfortable in there watching some films and having a beer. Now, I wanted to bring this up because um, there's a potential that I might get asked to move on, but also camping and beer. Now, what I don't want to do is have loads to drink and then get asked to move on and then not be able to and or have to drink drive because they need to get me off site or something. So with that in mind, I've got myself some really crappy uh, alcohol-free beers. <laughs> Make it feel like I'm having a beer in van. So once everything's out and so sorted and cosy, then uh, it'll be time to crack open the beer. Or as Steve Wallace likes to say, step two. <laughs> Here we go. I'm gonna use that to uh, keep me warm should I get cold. I've got my pillow, lovely jovely. Then the cushions, here we go. So these cushions here because there's a bit of a gap at the back i just like to shove them down there not only that it stops me from losing my pillow during the night as well do that and do that um so then this isn't in the way what i'm going to do is just pop that at the end of the bed so i can still get into the fridge uh, i can still get to the porta potty uh, there's room down there the reason i put my bag there is because there's a bit of a gap just where the uh, handbrake is so that just blocks off that little bit of light there uh, sleeping bag uh, in all worst case scenario I can still drive off like this uh, maybe put the lamp away and stuff but yeah all rocking and rolling let's get that up and get everything set up and done nice car park's absolutely rammed now full of people <laughs> they keep walking past van and stuff and uh, I think the film's just finished so everyone's sort of come out of the cinema all in one go um, and they're all disappearing so the cars are getting few and far between there's still quite a few cars um, but one good thing uh, and it's good news is that there are quite a few campers that have turned up all different shapes and sizes uh, there's like a high top transit van there's a Vivaro there's another dub uh, and they've got their lights on and they're quite obviously in their van so that makes me feel less kind of on my own uh, so to speak as in like not on my own as in like scared because I'm by myself but more of a I'm not going to be like the standout camper that's the only one that's camping in Meadowall car park at the moment do you know what I mean coming up to half past seven now uh, the bed's all set up as you saw uh, I'm going to open myself a can of alcohol free beer uh, sit and watch probably some YouTube videos actually because I've just had a quick flick through um, Prime Video and I'm like nothing's you know when nothing's like mm, and I'll probably spend the next three hours choosing a film whereas if I go on YouTube I'll just end up in the deep dark depths of YouTube I'll probably watch UA I'll be watching UFO videos by the end at night and I'll have started off watching the camping videos <laughs> so as you can see you can't see there's no light leak at all uh, which is proper ace but there's loads of people about and uh, you probably can't see them on camera but they're all looking at me from a distance so i'm just going to get into the van hunker down and disappear <laughs> and it's under the exposure slider in a light room yes we're talking about contrast today and everything that contrast means it's not just this slider it does a whole lot more than that and right then it's time to go to sleep and i shall see you in the morning or three o'clock 
in the morning when I get rudely awake and, and asked to move on. <laughs> so I can't sleep. It's uh, midnight and I've been trying to sleep since about nine o'clock. I think I dropped off for about an hour um, and I've just woken up and looked outside. I am literally the only van and car and vehicle in the whole of the car park. <laughs> And that bothers me because now I stand out I'm not even like stealth <laughs> I'm the only vehicle in the car park I'm literally not tired I could get up and do a dance it's nuts so um, that's me at the moment <laughs> Morning. Okay, I can put all the big lights on now. <laughs> Ugh. Well, that wasn't the best night's sleep, I'll be honest with you. Yeah, that wasn't the best night's sleep. I mean, it was a car park. I mean, I'm not reviewing the site. <laughs> it was just, yeah, noisy. Um, and I think because I was sleeping in a car park, I kind of... I don't know, not anxious, but like just probably a bit excited, a bit anxious, a bit nervous, a bit kind of, oh, I don't want to go to sleep. Uh, what if someone tells me to move? And all that's going through my head and stuff like that. And yeah, a bit weird, um, but ace at the same time. <laughs> Sleeping in a car park, weird. Um, I had a message from uh, DPD. They are delivering my camera gear and drone. What I'll do is I'll drive home now, get the camera gear, do some camera tests uh, and shove them on the end of this video and then the next video will all be filmed with um the new camera gear how oh, awesome's that nice i've just realized i've not brought my window back either so it means i'm gonna have to wipe the front windows with that didn't stay uncondensatedness <laughs> uh, that i'm gonna have to wipe those now with uh, a towel and a microfiber cloth because yeah they're well condensated even though i did keep the windows cracked open both sides yeah it's uh, not looking good it's different to camping it's different isn't it because you know if i were at a campsite i'd get up i'd have a cuppa i'd chill out for a bit and you know i'd have I'd sort everything out all i've literally just done is woken up uh, brush my teeth and um spoken to you <laughs> morning world Right, the sat nav saying I'm going to arrive at home at 11.18, uh, but DPD is saying they're going to get there for 11.05. So um, there's a DPD van there. I wonder if it's that. I wonder if it's that. I could follow that. Um, so, um, but I can't function without a coffee. It's not safe for me to drive without a coffee. I think it's legal law for me to get a coffee. So I'm off to go get a coffee. <laughs> Four pound fifteen. Four pound fifteen for a small coffee. Well, medium. Four pound fifteen. Four pound fifteen. Why is it so much more expensive here than anywhere else? Ridiculous. Let's see what time it's saying now. I'm gonna get home. Hopefully, I'll get there before Zoltan does. Recenter to that. Twenty past eleven. I've got him. He'll put it in a safe place and. Um, and then I'll be there within sort of 10 minutes. So hopefully uh, it doesn't rain on it. Right, let's leave this godforsaken £4.50 coffee providing place. And um, £4.15. When she said it, I thought, I'm only ordering one. £4.15. I don't even want to drink it fast. I want to frame it. £4.15. Uh, for those wondering, yes, you can drive with the bed down. Um, 
I've never actually done it, so there's a first. Uh, it's not rattling or anything like that, it's perfectly fine. The only thing I can hear rattling it back is the uh, the cans, the 0% alcohol cans that are in the fridge that I've not secured down and they're just like rolling around, but that's fine, I don't mind that. Uh, that's just up there drying because that's what I did the windscreen with. And yeah, happy days, it looks like a nice little bedroom. It actually looks like a teenager's bedroom because the uh, bed's not made. Um, Right, come on, let's go. Otherwise, I'm gonna not have my new equipment and then I can't do a test on this video, can I? Right, let's go get my new equipment. So I've had a notification that the parcel's been delivered. So let's just keep our fingers crossed that it doesn't rain by the time I get there. Um, and there's been a road closed, so I'm having to turn left. I'm sat in traffic, rubbish. Still sat in the same traffic. Feels like I've been here hours. <sighs> Normally when they say between 11.05 and 12.05, it's usually 12.04 that it arrives. But no, not today, not today. Uh, £4.50 by the way. New vlogging kit, which is all ace. Let's get it checked out. Oops. Oh, it is. Yes. We get to do some flying and stuff. Let's see this box here. Another one. Oh, this is fluffy. It's a, 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 a bag for the DJI. <gasps> Spare blades. Nice. Guess I'm gonna need those. <laughs> right, let's move this. And in here should be blee should be our new vlogging camera. The Sony ZV1. Which apparently is like new. So I always buy all my stuff from MPB because um you can trade in your old camera gear and they give you a pretty decent price for it. Um, I'm not sponsored by them, by the way. Oh, look at that. Right, so um, the battery went on the Osmo Action as I was opening all the stuff, <laughs> which is properly annoying. But anyway, I opened it, everything's there, uh, looks ace. I'm filming now on the Sony ZV-1, which is what we're gonna be doing all our vlogs on from now on, because I think the quality is a lot nicer. Um, and the uh, Mavic Air is on charge. So what I'm gonna do now is get the van ready for tomorrow's trip to Scarborough, which is gonna be next week's video for you guys. Uh, so come with me and let's get the uh, van all sorted out. Nice. Nah,